All right, I'd like to talk a little bit about the uh, Sonic Hammer. Basically, uh, it's like a hammer. It's got uh, three inches of distance that you can cover. You can push your beater that much closer to your head, which gives you much more power. This part here, that two-inch uh, Delrin disc, you can actually, when you hit flat, it's going to give you good solid sound. But the thing that's uh, the benefit for it mostly is if you uh, set up your beaters here, like this, I've got them symmetrical. Uh, they're both pretty well the same distance apart, but you've noticed the sonic hammer is this much further forward. So meaning that if I'm playing and we want to see what we're doing here, it's hard to hold the iPhone and do this. But if I'm tapping here, heel down, I'm just slightly, I'm having a hard time hitting all the notes. Now I do the same thing. Now remember, my what my left foot is my weak foot, so for me to be able to do this and getting, I'm getting more of a uh, solid sound. This because I'm not getting as much as the contact area in the bass drum. <laughs> I've got these upset like this for a workout. It really makes me work my heel down because my uh, heel down technique sucks. So this is a good way to build it up. But working with the Sonic hammers. It's effortless because, like I said, I can adjust it up to three inches closer, making my job easier. And like I said, uh, that's one of the reasons that I use the uh, Axis Sonic Hammers.